This is a shot glass. I won it a few months back from Dave & Buster's. And so far, I've mainly been using it to take shots of muriatic acid before I do some crazy chemistry experiment. It's <coughs> kind of a way for me of calming down before the storm. And also an excuse to call poison control so they can come save my life. Now, this wasn't the only thing I got from Dave & Buster's. I also got this little kit for making glow-in-the-dark crystals. Now, I've made plenty of crystals before, and there's a number of different chemicals you can use to make crystals. I'll list some of them here. But for this video, I wanted to actually go through the instructions in this little kit and make some glow-in-the-dark crystals. So, let's get to it. Here we are, let's open it up. Inside, we've got our instructions manual. This thing, I don't know what that is. Oh, here we go. Here's our crystal powder. Looks like the powder is gonna be ammonium phosphate. And one more. Got no label on this. Not sure what this is. Okay, nice. Let's put that away. Let's quickly go through the steps here. First, we're gonna fill a beaker with hot water. Then we're gonna add a certain crystal powder or ammonium phosphate crystals to the solution and completely dissolve it. Then we're gonna put a lid or a watch glass on our beaker and leave it there for about two to three hours to cool down. Then once it's cooled down, we're gonna add that little random rock stone thing we saw, which is apparently a base stone, and leave it uncovered and disturbed for 10 to 12 hours. Then we're probably gonna start to see a crystal grow. We'll leave it out for probably another week and a half or so, and then we'll see our crystal fully grown. Then we can place a light under it for a few minutes and then bring it into a dark room where it will glow in the dark. Okay, uh, I guess we'll fill the beaker to like 350 milliliters. Okay, beaker has been filled to a little over 350 milliliters. Oh, we're supposed to fill it with hot water. Whoops, fill the cup with hot water. Okay, so to heat it, I'm just gonna need this guy. My good old, ah hot plate and magnetic stirrer. Now, all we gotta do is plug this guy in. Yeah, plugged in. Turn the power, turn the heat, and heat up the water. For good measure, I'm gonna store away some of my ammonium phosphate, just in case I wanna use it later. Uh, how the do I open this? Okay. Yeah, oh shit. You know what, uh, let's get a funnel. I think that's a good idea. Awesome. So we got ourselves a funnel. Now we're in the powder. Okay, so I guess we poured out about half of the powder. And here's what we got in our container. Let's cap this up. We'll label it, of course. And put it away. So that ended up taking a really, really long time. So I decided to switch out my 500 milliliter beaker with a 250 milliliter beaker instead, uh, and only fill it to about 100 milliliters instead of 300 milliliters. Uh, I managed to finally get it to a temperature of about 78 C, which I'm thinking should be enough. So let's get to the next steps. So we've filled our cup with hot water, now we need to add the crystal powder and stir it until it completely dissolves. This feels like a lot of powder. But ammonium phosphate can dissolve 58 grams in 100 milliliters of water. So even though it looks like a lot, it should still be able to dissolve it. Okay, nice. Let's rinse off the sides a little bit. It looks like I got some powder on the sides. Okay, nice. Now, let's mix it up. Okay, it's important that we do not over stir because over stirring might cause failure. So there's still a little bit left, so you can see there. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it as is. Let's put it on the hot plate so we can maintain our heat. And now we need to put a lid on it and place it in a place that it won't be disturbed. Wait for, waiting for the solution to cool down. Okay, so, so we don't have a lid. We can use a watch glass. So let's put a lid on it. And now we can just leave it be like this for a little while. So now that our solution has been sitting here for a few hours, we can move on to the fourth step. 
which is placing this base stone at the bottom of the cup. I'm guessing that this stone is also made of ammonium phosphate uh, because that's what we're going to be precipitating or that's what's going to be crystallizing on a solution. So now we have to leave it uncovered and undisturbed for about 10 to 12 hours. Then hopefully we'll see some sort of crystal form. Uh, what's one thing we can see here is a weird bubble coming up there. Not quite sure what that is. As the crystal was growing, I noticed this kind of weird water current developing on top of it. You can see it seems to be flowing up and out and then maybe around the crystal as it's growing. Here's a time lapse of the crystal growing and you can see that the water current is still there. This time lapse went on for a while and I forgot that it kind of became night, which is why it turns dark here. So now that this crystal has been sitting here for about a week and it's grown to its maximum size, we can take it out and complete the final steps in the directions. So we need to take the crystal out, pouring out the solution and then rinsing the crystal with some water. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna place the crystal under a light and then bring it into a dark room, meaning turn the lights off in this room and see it glow in the dark. So let's get to it. So to take the crystal out, I'm going to first put my gloves on and now take a second beaker that I can pour the excess ammonium phosphate solution into. Nice, it actually looks like the crystal is pretty much stuck to the bottom of our beaker. So we can put this away. It's a nice texture, but it seems to be pretty much stuck to the bottom. So I'm gonna take some water. Hopefully this will loosen it up a little bit. Nice, and let's get one of these. And the crystal's all out. So here we go. Here's our nice ammonium phosphate crystal. Um, oh, it's breaking off rather easily. It's all because of the water I added. Let's leave it here. Um, okay, let me actually get a second paper towel um, and fix this up. Okay, so what I did is I basically took the little bits and pieces of this crystal that had fallen off and put it into a separate beaker. Um, and here, it actually makes quite a funny sound when I move around. I also opened the window because I was smelling a little bit of ammonia coming off of this. It wasn't smelling too great. Um, and now we can move on to the final, final step. So let me put these away. And now we've got nothing but our crystal. Okay, so now using a flashlight, which I also got from Dave & Buster's, the video is not sponsored, I'm going to shine this light on this crystal for a few minutes and then after that I'm going to turn off all the lights in this room and hopefully see it glow in the dark. So, get to it. Okay, so my room wasn't quite dark enough, so I decided to bring all of this into my closet and continue shining the light on it where it will be completely pitch black. So once we turn this off, turn off the lights, uh, and turn the flashlight off, we should see it glow quite brilliantly. Turning lights on, flashlight off in three, two, one. Wow. Look at that. It really does glow in the dark. Wow, that's gorgeous. That is really beautiful. Let's we shine the light back on it. Wow. And I guess we consider this a success. Let's turn it over and see. Yeah, it seems like the crystal itself is not the one that's glowing, um, but rather whatever rock thingy that uh, they had me glow the crystal on. Right, that little green thing you see there, that's the thing that's actually glowing. Um, that is not the actual ammonium phosphate crystal. I don't know what that rock thing was made of, but regardless, I think it's still pretty cool. So ammonium phosphate clearly doesn't glow on its own, um, but I'm guessing all that was supposed to happen was that you're supposed to grow a crystal around this rock thing here, um, and then that was going to be glowing in the dark, and sort of that light was going to perpetrate through the whole crystal, creating a glow-in-the-dark crystal. Nice.